Sentence Transformer, S Bird. A fascinating topic. This was the last video I did on this um, almost seven months ago. So let's do the update. What is new? What can I show you? Here we go. If you have seen my short, you know that sentence transformer, there are a lot of pre-trained model. And if we have a sentence, we can encode our sentence here with a very easy command. And what we get is for each sentence, and here you see here, for example, my sentence, we get an embedding in a 768 dimensional space. And this is nothing else than the coordinate for exactly this one vector. Here is my second sentence. And again, we have now a 768 dimensional vector. So let's see how we can improve things. At first, I have to load some sentences. And as you can see here, I have my BERT sentences here. And I have about 129,000 sentences. Uh, just checking uh, what uh, Google Colmac is giving us, we have a Tesla K80 GPU. So here we go. At first, if you do some semantic search, you have to choose wisely because there are pre-trained expert models for you that are specialized for symmetric or asymmetric search. So for symmetric search, and I mean this for search your query and your entries in your corpus are about the same length and have about the same amount of content. The example would be how to learn Python online. This is your query and you would like to find in your 100,000 sentences, sentences like how to learn Python on the web. So this is a symmetric task. Your search, your query and your entries are about the same length. Now, for symmetric semantic search, you have pre-trained sentence embedding models. The two best I would recommend is this one. And if you want a smaller model, you have the distilled Roberto model with 290 MB. Both models are for symmetric search beautifully. If you go for some asymmetric semantic search, you know that we have a different length. So you have a query, what is Python? And you want to have an answer that is maybe one sentence or two sentence if you have a paragraph embedding. So you have an asymmetric length task. What I would recommend here for asymmetric is, and I follow here esper.net, the recommendation, uh, MS Marco models. If you do the cosine similarity, what I find is really fast and really good on my particular data, and I have here from research projects, distilled bird base version four. If you want to calculate your cosine similarity, I would recommend this particular model. If you want a Roberto model, well, the Roberto base version three is also excellent. For my particular data set, it depends, of course, what data you are going to use. So let's have a look at this first. This is the code for symmetric. We start. We import our sentence transformer, we import a helper function utilities, we import torch, and then we just download, as I told you here, symmetric, you remember, we have here all MPNet base version two, we import exactly these pre-trained sentence transformers. What we do then is all my 129,000 sentences, we are gonna encode. And we are gonna encode these sentences in the 768 dimensional space, we have a batch size with 128. This is when my RAM is not crushing. As you can see here, my GPU RAM, <laughs> if it's red borderlining, this is not what you are looking for. So be careful, choose according to your compute resources. And then I have a query sentence and you can have one or two queries or whatever query sentences you like. I have here two. The first is about climate change and strategy to prevent global warming. And the second is from quantum electrodynamics and quantum chromodynamics. It's about quark plasma distribution at high energies. So, and if you want the five closest sentences from all those 129,000 sentences, 
you can simply encode both sentences and then what you do you can compute the cosine similarity and you want to have a, as a return the highest the five highest scores now within utility there's this beautiful cosine similarity function already predefined for you within the sentence transformer package so use it then we just go for the top five uh, it took us seven minutes on Colab. This is the plain, simple Colab, no Colab Plus, no Colab Super, just a normal Google collaboratory notebook. And as you can see, for the first sentence, climate change and the strategies to prevent global warming, I found here my top five sentences. Science climate change demands radical long-term reduction in greenhouse gas emissions and mitigate scientific uh, social head strategy whatsoever and for quark plasma distribution we have some heavy ion collisions this is nice quark gluon plasma and then the heavy ion collisions yes the good experiment yeah this looks nice so it took us seven minutes to calculate this cosine similarity for these two sentences that we had we get an answer what sentences are hidden in our 129,000 sentences. Remember, this is not a lexical search, this is a neural search, since we are applying here a BERT model. So, for asymmetric search, you can say now, and just for demonstration, you can have a very short query. I use the same length of the other example so that we have something to compare and now I do for the asymmetric task I load a sentence transformer model from Hugging Face and this is the Steel Bird base version 4 and as you can see we do the same we embed it we encode it we encode also our our query and then we use again the cosine similarity function of the utility we want to have the top five entries and we get the top five entries. Now, let's have a look if we get the same result back. And let's take here in the second question, answer number five, neutrino dark matter abundant particle universe. And let's compare it with the second sentence and the fifth answer by the system. My goodness. And here we have strong interaction matter Tremendous intrinsic interest that exhibit emerging phenomenon, spontaneous symmetry breaking at quantum relativistics. So we get a different result. So, of course, because we have here a different model for our sentence transformer. Although the code is identical, our pre trained model is completely different. Well, this is a 768 dimensional model, and this is a 768 dimensional dense vector space model, but this is it with similarities. So, be careful which model you choose. Again, as you can see, also 7 minutes, 13 seconds, so comparably in length for the execution on a Colab GPU uh, runtime. Next up, it is recommended you use a different uh, functionality, a different operator. And I'll show you this here. We have semantic search. And your semantic search is, again, you have your query embedding and you have your corpus embedding and you want to return, let's say, the top five results. And you can do this now with this new command. You remember, utility semantic search is now the new command. The old command was, for the asymmetric case, utility cosine similarity as the same as it was for the symmetric case, utility cosine similarity, now we run with an optimized version that is able to handle more data semantic search. And if you're interested in the API, sentence transformer utility semantic search, you have your query embeddings. Of course, you need a PyTorch tensor. Then you have your corpus embeddings. Then you can define your query chunk size. You can define the corpus chunk size then you can define the top results returned back to you and the score function. Now the score function by default will be the cosine similarity we used in the other example, but I will show you at the end of this video that we can go here for a dot product if we have normalized our embeddings of the sentences. But let's start easy, let's start with the default. So here 
I execute my command. Utility, semantic search, query embeddings, corpus embeddings, the top five results. And this is what I get back. These are my results that I get back. And as you can see here, neutrino, stock meta, abundant universe, neutrino, stock meta, abundant universe. So if we have the same model, and remember, this is here the asymmetric model, like a short a query term if you want and quite a long reply because there are sentences that have have up to 80 words in one single sentences i think it is a good approximation it is approximation i know i know and yeah credits too here uh auto we have niels reimer and irinia gurevich and proceedings 2019 please have a look at their preprints it's really a beautiful methodology and this is for semantic search so how can we optimize this yeah we can now what we can do is we can specify a higher query chunk size if you have enough memory and i can tell you here with my stand-up collab uh, notebook I could uh, increase the query chunk size to 1000 and it's going to take us about 23 milliseconds and then if you say okay show me the result it is easy because we get our five results back and we just manipulated the query chunk size if you want a batch size so whatever it is this is for your pure semantic search, choose if you have, where are we, a symmetric semantic search or an asymmetric semantic search. Please do not confuse it with paraphrase mining, just for heaven's sake. Paraphrase mining, again here, if you use this for sentence transformers, there's a special command utility paraphrase mining. And what it does, it gives you a list of sentences and it compares all sentences against all other identical sentences. So it just compares the same set of sentences against this identical set of sentences and tells you for each sentence in those 129,000 sentences, which other sentence it thinks uh, is the best uh, pairing, the most um, has the highest uh, cosine similarity score. So this is quite an intensive calculation. If you have to use uh, paraphrase mining, be aware that you compare every sentence against any other sentence in your data set, in your, in your data. So what we have done is we focused here on semantic search, where we define a query, a question, if you want, or a list of sentences. These are my two sentences I queried against the 129,000 sentences. And here now, if you survived up until now, and I think we are close, we are over 10 minutes already. If you want to speed up, and maybe I do some, some YouTube short about this, but for you, if you're really interested in this, there is an opportunity that you can have some speed improvements. At first, as always, it depends on the pre-trained model that you are using. If you really have some domain specific knowledge, think about maybe you train, you want to train your own sentence transformer model. And I have a specific video on how to do this. But for the moment, we use a specific pre trained model. And this is it MS Marco Distilbert Base Dot Product Version 3. And as it already tells you in its name, it has been optimized for the dot product operation. And to show you this, we just do the same as before. We say sentence transformers load this particular model from Hugging Face directly. And then I have again my corpus from my 129,000 sentences. I say model.encode this corpus, show me the progress bar, do a batch size, convert the tensor, blah, blah, blah. And now I just have a short query, just one sentence. I say quark plasma distribution of high energy. This is the second sentence in the, uh, from the example above. You encode this and now comes the nice part. Why we have chosen this particular model here. 
this dot specific model because what we do now is we put both embeddings directly on our on our CUDA course on our GPU and remember we have a Tesla K80 here with um, Google Collaboratory and then what we do we normalize our embeddings and this is really important that you have the normalization function activated because and as you can see it just takes 885 microseconds so so less than a millisecond to perform this operation put it both on the gpu and then you just hit the command and we have now semantic search like before again we have the query embedding our one sentence then we have the corpus embedding with our 129,000 sentences and then we have the score function and now for the score function, we do not use the cosine similarity, but we use here the particular dot score function. And as you can see here, it computes the dot product for this uh, A and B tensor that we specified here and here. And as you can see about the speed test, if you have done this and it costs you less than one millisecond to do the conversion, then the semantic search itself of more than 129,000 sentences is done in about five milliseconds. And now if you compare this to the time it took us without the normalization and putting both optimized on your GPU, you see that here we use 21 milliseconds. So 21 milliseconds against five milliseconds interesting almost four times faster but of course it depends on your sentences it depends on the complexity of your sentences of the vocabularies how many out of vocabulary words do you have have you done a pre-training have you done a fine-tuning of your sentence transformer model those are other steps you can optimize your sentence transformer on your domain specific knowledge if you're interested i have some videos on this also available on this youtube channel but I think for right now, this was it with the update, with the new models. I wanted to show you the predefined model. I guess it could not be easier that you just say, hey, Saturn Transformer, load from Hugging Face this specific model that has been absolutely fine-tuned for my task of a dot product calculation in a 768-dimensional vector space. This is great. You have a great variety of models. Please choose wisely if you have a symmetric or some asymmetric task. If you do some semantic search, we talked about paraphrase mining. And I think for this, it is the end. I will do a short YouTube short on the results to show you how you can accelerate this. But for the moment, I say thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and I see you in the next video.